How to remove fizz bones in Unity? So you're working on your VR chat avatar in Unity and you've run into an issue where you need to remove some fizz bones. This can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, we've got you covered. First, first let's talk about why you might need to remove fizz bones. Sometimes you have too many of them and this can cause problems like clipping or performance issues. Here's how you can handle it. To start, you need to identify the fizz bones you want to remove. You can do this by selecting your avatar in the Unity scene and looking at the components attached to it. If you see a lot of fizzy bone components and you're not sure which ones to remove, you can use a tool to help you out. One way to manage this is by using the Remove Fizzy Bones option. When you select your avatar, you can click on Remove Fizzy Bones, and it will show you all the fizzy bones, colliders, and contacts for that avatar. Here, you can manually select the fizzy bones you want to delete. Just untick the ones you want to keep, and then click Delete Unselected to get rid of the ones you don't need. Another approach is to drag out the components you don't want to have fizzy bones on. If you delete a component that has a fizzy bone, it can mess up your entire setup, so it's better to just drag it out. This way, the component stays in the same place but loses its fizzy bone. For example, if you have too many hair components, you can drag out the extra ones and only keep the ones you need. If you're dealing with a specific issue like blue see-through circles or triangles around your avatar, it might be due to misplaced or extra fizzy bones. In this case, you need to find the problematic fizzy bones, usually around the area where you attached something new, like a tail or piercing. You can extend the Ignore Transforms and drag the new items into the elements to fix this issue. When converting dynamic bones to fizzy bones, you might also need to adjust some values to ensure everything works smoothly. After converting, you can go into play mode to see how the avatar moves and adjust the fizzy bones accordingly. For instance, if the hair is moving too much, you can adjust the settings in the armature to stabilize it. In summary, Removing fizzy bones involves identifying the ones you don't need, using tools to manage them, and sometimes adjusting settings to ensure your avatar looks and moves as intended. By following these steps, you can keep your VRChat avatar looking great and performing well.